Good afternoon. I'm Steve Becker, and I'm going to go through a, uh, the com integration of two tools, the paired comparison analysis and the decision matrix. These, tool, these two tools actually work very well together um, in using for project management decisions. Uh, there's many decisions in project management. And I'm going to show you how these, decision, these tools work together. Uh, for making a decision on a car, what kind of car purchase I would like to make. So the way that this works, first we're going to use the paired comparison analysis, and then we will use the output of the compared comparison analysis to uh, work in the decision matrix. So how do I make, how do I use this? Well, first thing I'm for making a purchase of a car, what are the attributes that would make a good car purchase? And so here I'm listing it. I have a total of 10 slots I can, available to me, but I'm going to only use five in this, in this case. And my choices are the attributes of a good car decision is the price of the car, the fuel economy, whether it's a 4x4, the reliability of the car, and the performance of the car. Now, this, what this tool allows you to do is compare each of these attributes against the other attributes and come up with a weighted list of what is the most important, what is the least important, and to what extent. And the way it does this is you notice I have auto populated on this section right here the five attributes that I have selected, and then across the top row these same five attributes. And the way I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare each attribute against each other attribute. So for example, fuel economy is that more important than price, a price. In this case, B, fuel economy, is more important. But to what level? Is it just a little bit more important? Maybe it's equal in importance. Um, right down here, I have a value key. So if it's equal in value, I will give it a 0. If it's higher value, I'll give it a 1. Much higher value, a 2. And much, much higher value, a 3. Now, for you, you would have to decide what those value key references mean. What does it mean? to say something is much, much higher value. Once you decide that, as long as you're consistent in all of these comparisons, this tool will work very well for you. So in this case, B, fuel economy, is received a 1, which is a higher value. Fuel economy is higher value than price. Then I'm going to go through each of these. Is 4x4, four four, C4x4 four four more important than price? No, A, 4x4 four four was a higher value than price. Uh, price was higher value than 4x4. Four four. You notice there's a red section. That's because I don't have to make every single one of these comparisons. It does not make sense to compare price to price and fuel economy to fuel economy. So I'd eliminate all those, making them red. And I also don't do uh, duplicate uh, comparisons. So for example, comparing fuel economy to price is the same as making fuel economy to price here. So I've already done that. So really all I have to do is fill in the white sections. And I do this by coming down here and it automatically asks you the question, which is more important, price or fuel economy? And I select here in the yellow section the drop down of fuel economy. And once I've picked fuel economy, then I then how much more important is it? How much more important is fuel economy than price? And I can select my Likert scale of equal higher, much higher, or much, much higher value. Once I've filled in all of these questions, it automatically populated all of this here, right here. So how do I use this and make this into, turn this into something useful? Well, mathematically, all it is is I'm just adding up all the A's, a 1, a 2, and a 3. That equals 6. And then dividing that by the total number of points possible here. And that gives you a percentage of what price is to uh, scoring compared to all of the other attributes. and uh, But again, that's not as, that gives you a percentage, a decimal point. That's not as useful. What I really want to have is I want to have a prioritized list on a scale of 1 to 10. And through some mathematical magic right over here, it's taking these values that I have already selected in, in, uh, in my comparison, and it's giving me a score. Fuel economy got the highest score. It was the most important thing to me. On a scale of 1 to 10, that automatically gives it a 10. And then price, based on the value key selections I made, received a 6 points. Reliability received 3 points. And 4x4 received 2 points. 
Now you notice here performance got a score of 1. But if you look over here, E performance, there are no E's. That's not because it's not valuable to me. It just received, it was the lowest on the totem pole. It was, um, it, everything else, all the other attributes scored higher than uh, performance. So it would get a zero in that case. But since um, it is a priority because I selected it as one of my attributes that are important to me, I'm going to artificially make it a one. And that actually works really well in this, in this, uh, um, in this uh, perform uh, prioritization matrix. It gives me the lowest value, but it's still on the, uh, on the scoreboard as the lowest value. So I'm going to take this prioritized list this is my weighted factors that I'm going to compare all of the vehicles that I'm considering purchasing. So now this, this list here is going to be used in this decision matrix, which is the next, the second tool. And you notice here I have each of the five attributes, price, fuel economy, 4x4, four four, reliability, and performance auto-populated up here. And the decision list, this next row here, I have auto populated the value received so price was received a 6 fuel economy received a 10 rating 4 by 4 a 4 or excuse me a 2 uh, and so on and so forth you notice there's zeros over here that's because i didn't have all 10 attributes assigned so now i'm going to take what i had chosen three vehicles here that i was considering a 2005 jeep wrangler for $12,000 a 2005 honda accord for $10,000 and a 2005 Subaru Outback for $15,000. I'm going to take each of these and I'm going to decide. So for the Jeep Wrangler, for the price, how well does that $12,000 Jeep Wrangler meet the low price requirement? And I scored it at an 8 on a scale of 0 to 10. I scored it at an 8. The Honda Accord being the lowest priced vehicle, I scored that at top. I scored that at 10. And the way this program works is it automatically takes how well that attribute was perceived to me. It got a score of 6. And then multiplies that by how well that vehicle scores for price. And in this case, uh, the Honda Accord came out with 60 points. 6 times 10 is 60 points. For fuel economy, uh, you notice the Jeep gets horrible gas mileage. And it, I only scored it a 3. That was the most important thing to me of 10 points. So it only gets 30 points integrated score on fuel economy. Whereas the Honda Accord, which gets great gas mileage, scored a 10. So the 10 points times 10 points gives me 100 points. And so you can see how it's populating integrated scores for each of those five attributes based on how well that vehicle meets those attribute requirements. When I get done, I come over here to the very end and it totals up all my scores. You'll notice here the Honda Accord received the highest score of 205 points and the Subaru Outback received 138 points. Now this is not a, an equation that you can just, oh well, that's the score I got and that's what I have to go with. Once you're done, step back and look at this. Does this make sense? And you can use this tool very easily to, to um, facilitate with the, actually a large group of people. And it's actually very easily uh, used in that. I've used that many times. But once you, you're done, sit back and does this make sense? Do I agree with this? Is there something we missed in this? This really should be um, a, a point of discussion uh, for using this tool. But it helps you to think through the decision. At any rate, that's, uh, hopefully this spot tool is uh, helpful to you. I will put a link to the Excel spreadsheet template in the uh, YouTube uh, page. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you.